Hey guys, it's Tammy, so I'm back at you with another video today, and today is a review video on the Juvia's Place Nubian 1 palette. I bought the free, like the Nubian 1, Nubian 2 and the Masquerade as a set like a couple months ago, and I hauled it. I said I was going to review them, and I literally like basically forgot so <laughs> here I am with number one I will also be doing number two and three so make sure you stay tuned for that so yeah let's just jump straight into swatches of this palette and then I will move on to show you how I created this eye look today I've seen you I've patrolled these empty thoughts before but I'm fixed now on the cure I'm holding on to the last rock on the mountaintop and I'm begging for your love do you remember the type of folk we used to be and the simple souls we used to Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those swatches. Now let's just jump straight in and create a look using this palette. Now let me just tell you something quickly about the palette. I don't believe it came with names. I really can't remember. Um, I don't think they are named, but I think the ones in the other palette are named. So it comes with four matte eyeshadows and eight shimmery eyeshadows some are more shimmery than others for example these two are more shimmery than say this one but they still have a sheen or like shine to it so for example i think this is more of a satin finish and then these are definitely more like a pressed pigment type of finish so you definitely have a range of finishes and shades in this palette of course it is more warm toned um i don't think there's any cool tone eyeshadows in here so i'm gonna go in with this color first which looks like the perfect base color just to place on my eyelid like the lid and the transition area so i'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that and dust it all over the lid um so this palette does not come with a mirror but we'll get into that later i just want to try out the colors first so that colour, as you can see, you can barely see it on my skin tone, so it is a perfect kind of base colour. I could have even used it to set my primer. Okay, so now that is done, I'm going to dip into this orangey tone, kind of similar to this one, but it has more of an orange tone to it, um, and I'm going to place this in my crease. Yeah, definitely more orangey. I wish it showed up a tiny bit more darker, like a darker orange, orangey brown, but it's okay as a transition colour. There is a lot of kickback as I'm dipping into the product. Okay, so now that base is laid down, we can go in with other. I'm trying to use all of the matte shades. There's only four, so it shouldn't be hard to use. So next, I'm going to dip into the third matte color, which is this one right here. It's like a dark chocolatey brown. This color is not as dark as it appears in the pan. It does come off a bit lighter. It's not as dark and chocolatey as I thought it was going to be, but it is a brown. I'm not wowed by this brown. It's really light, kind of. It's giving me a bit of definition on my outer V, but... Ooh, why is my camera turned? That's better. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not giving me as much depth as I would like on this outer corner. It's more of a light chocolatey brown rather than the deep chocolatey brown I thought it was going to be. And I, if I remember correctly, I remember the first time I actually used this palette, I wasn't blown away by the colors either so this is just bringing back memory lane <sighs> i'm getting tons of fallout on my nose and stuff but i guess it is you know building up but it's just not as dark as i thought it was going to be so yeah i'm going back in with my previous brush to just blend that together okay i think i've put like 10 layers on now it's not getting darker than this so so now i'm going to dip into the last matte color which is the black kind of like a blackish gray yeah, that's definitely giving some darkness. But it's definitely more of a greyish black than a actual black. This is the weirdest experience for me, guys, because they go on really nice. And then when you blend it out, it's kind of like, oh, it's faded, you know? And let me show you how much kickback is on the palette. I hope you can see how much powder has come out of the black and the brown. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but some people don't like all of that powder around, so... Yeah, this is the look you can get with all of the four matte shades. Mm, I'm not blown away. I mean, it's cute. It's definitely a wearable look. It looks fine. It's just not the best eyeshadows I've ever used. I just mean for the shades that I've put on my eyes, this, 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 and this, I think it should be a bit deeper or, you know, I feel like it should be darker or more pigmented it kind of looks like i've had this makeup on for how many hours and it's faded so i'm going to take this one first which is kind of like a duochrome color it's kind of like a rose gold 
if you can see that it's like a rose then a gold <laughs> so I'm gonna take that on my eye very pigmented and they glide on very buttery they feel super smooth going on your face and that one dip did my whole lid I definitely like the shimmers a lot better than the mattes so that is how the rose gold looks didn't even have to build that up it just went on perfect I really like that color it's perfect kind of duochrome love it let's take a bit of this because it has that kind of pressed glitter very pigmented look and I'm gonna put that right on the inner corner can I even see it I'm gonna take a brush and try apply that inner corner color again so I'm dipping into this one again on a brush let's see yeah it's a lot more intense with a brush one last time I'm gonna try build up this black because I really want a deep outer corner I want it to look like that but as soon as I blend it out it goes so I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back so I can give you my final thoughts and review on this palette okay and I'm back so I just wanted to do my lower lash line before we go on to the final review so I'm just gonna take a couple of the matte shades like this one maybe this one maybe even this one and just blow out my lower lash line okay so this is how it is looking once I have finished so this is the final look I hope you like it so yeah let me just give you my final thoughts on this palette so this palette retails for $23.50 um, of course this is if you buy it in the US um, you can ship it to the UK I think but of course you will get custom charges on top of it so it won't work out to be like you know super cheap or affordable $23 I think translates to about 18 maybe 20 pounds basically so 20 pounds for this palette is really not bad it's a great deal however by the time you get customs and shipping on top of it it will take it to about 30 maybe even 35 pounds if you order from the Juvia's Place website however I bought mine from lustercosmetics.co.uk which is a UK like stockist so they sell stuff like Kylie Cosmetics um Juvia's Place stuff that's hard to get in the UK they sell it of course for a higher price so for example they might have paid £20 for this but then they charged me 30 so that is how it works you obviously get a, get some money added on top and then you know you get fast shipping and no customs charges so if you order it from the UK I've checked all of the UK websites and most of them are out of stock but also they retail for £30 I bought mine in a set so I got all three of them in a set for £90 which works out to £30 per palette so £30 for this I paid basically um £30 for this <laughs> you know it's like mm. I I think for £20 you know the original how much it's valued at that's a good price $23.50 that's a really good price I definitely say affordable great palette for that price however when it gets here and you translate all the money 30 pounds is really expensive i mean like it's it's basically debenhams prices you can walk into you know debenhams and pick up an urban decay palette the shade selection is absolutely gorgeous however when i got down to using it the matte shades really don't come off as dark as i would like them to so i know like if I wanted to use this palette again I would only use it for shimmers or I would have to use another palette to get like a really dark uh, matte black because this is not a matte black it's like a really dark grayish brown so it's not black um, and it doesn't give enough depth and de definition on the outer V for me but I think if you're lighter skin tone this palette will work out perfect for you because obviously these will show up really dark on your outer V give you really dark deep definition whereas for women of color it really doesn't show up that much well for me <laughs> this is all my personal opinion girlies of course if you saw the way it applied you saw all of the matte shadows and you were like yeah I like that that's perfect then of course this palette is for you but speaking from my own experience it just doesn't build up enough depth and darkness on my outer V the shimmers in this palette are absolutely stunning I definitely recommend this palette if you are interested in any of the shimmers they are gorgeous all of them swatch perfect one swipe full pigment they go on the eyes perfect they're still looking nice I think you will get the best out of it if you use it wet yeah use them wet if you want to get really intense shimmer if not this is how they come out on the eyes a really nice kind of satin sheen um yeah I like this palette it's definitely like a I would think a 7 out of 10 it's good but for the price it's not great you know um I just wish the matte shades were deeper darker and 
that is it really that's the only thing i have to say about this palette if the mattes were darker i would definitely give it like a nine or ten so that's it for this video girlies i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because i will be reviewing the juvia's place 2 and free palette so stay tuned and i will see you in my next video bye